The vocabulary we use to describe machines often has ancient and interesting roots. The term horsepower is a good example. The powerful engine moving this huge truck is producing over 400 horsepower. Obviously, the term horsepower has something to do with horses. We have an ancient relationship with these powerful animals. For thousands of years, they were the dominant source of mobile power. Moving people and goods, plowing land and fighting wars. These intelligent animals shaped history. But the importance and role of the horse changed with the arrival of a new source of power. Steam. Inventors had been investigating steam for centuries, trying to find some way to capture and use the force created when water is vaporized. In the early 18th century, Thomas Newcomen, a British inventor, created what many think is the first successful steam engine. His engine used a simple oscillating motion to pump water from mines. Newcomen's invention inspired others, including the famous Scottish engineer James Watt. Under Watt, the steam engine evolved into the machine that powered the Industrial Revolution. Steam replaced horses in the factories and fields of the developed world. <laughs> The term horsepower appeared during this transition from animal power to steam power. It is believed that James Watt created the term horsepower. He needed some scientific way to compare the power of horses to the power of machines. The science behind a comparison like this requires an understanding of force, work, energy and power. A force is a push or a pull and is measured in newtons. Work is calculated using this formula. Work equals force times distance. Force is measured in newtons, and the distance the force acted through is measured in meters. The units of work are joules. The process of work requires energy. Energy for a horse comes from food, and energy for the first steam engines came from burning coal or wood. Interestingly, the units of energy are joules, the same as the units of work. Energy and work are linked. Work requires energy. Power is the rate at which work is done. Power is calculated using the formula power equals work divided by time. The unit of power is the watt, named after the steam engineer James Watt. Here is an example of a power calculation. Lifting this metal toolbox requires a force of 18.4 newtons. I'll tie a rope to it so we can lift it through a large distance and calculate work. The distance from the ground to the upper railing on this deck is 3.8 meters. We know that work equals force times distance. Work equals 18.4 newtons times 3.8 meters. Doing the math, we get an answer of 69.92 joules. Let's round that to 70 joules. I did 70 joules of work lifting that load. To calculate how much power I produced, we have to measure time. How long did it take me to do that work? Using a stopwatch, We determine that 9.03 seconds have passed. Let's round the time to 9 seconds. Power equals work divided by time. 70 joules divided by 9 seconds yields an answer of 7.8 watts. That is not very much power. I could have increased my power output by lifting faster, reducing the time. Calculations involving humans determine that we can produce hundreds of watts of power for sustained periods of time. Our top athletes can produce over a thousand watts in a short burst of power. Let's return to this discussion of horsepower. 
Before the advent of steam engines, horses were used for lifting ore out of mines, pulling carts or using cables and buckets. Researchers from that period measured force and distance while these horses worked. This data can be used to calculate how many watts of power an average horse produces. This animation shows one option for determining horsepower. We will use modern units. Our horse in this simulation is connected to a 300 Newton load of ore. It lifts the ore a distance of 30 meters. Calculating work, force times distance, we see our horse completed 9,000 joules of work. To calculate power, we measure elapsed time. Our horse completed the lift in 10 seconds. Power equals work divided by time. 9,000 joules divided by 10 seconds gives us a power output of 900 watts. This imaginary horse produced 900 watts of power. James Watt and others, using similar methods on real horses, determined that one horsepower is the equivalent of 746 watts. I should note that some specialized professions use a different definition for horsepower, but 746 watts is acceptable for most applications. It turns out that some horses can actually produce much more than 746 watts for short periods of time. Recently, researchers have determined that the most powerful horses can produce over 10,000 watts of power, but only for a few seconds. For continuous work, 746 watts is a more realistic estimate for one horsepower. We use the term horsepower to define the power of motors. The first cars had motors capable of producing up to 40 horsepower. While modern race cars, like this dragster, are capable of generating thousands of horsepower. This boat is being propelled by a 50 horsepower outboard motor. And this huge cruise ship has engines with a total power output of over 100,000 horsepower. Everything from power tools to high speed trains can be rated in horsepower. The term horsepower acknowledges the significant contribution of horses to the evolution of modern machines. If you would like to learn more about force, work, energy and power, check out the related videos on our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.